That's why I like hunting spook. I like getting rid of those turkeys. He doesn't want to do anything. Nothing interesting. Let's take him out, man. Let's get rid of him. He's hard to hunt. He's a pain in the ass. Let's get rid of him. People telling me that they're call shy, they're pressured, they're decoy shy. People say a lot of things, but I think people don't have a clue what the hell actually goes on. I mean, come on, bro. What's your deal? Don't look like you've gobbled yet this spring. It's May 17th. Come on, man. You're gonna miss out. I don't want to chase pink. <laughs> we got pink. This bird had absolutely no interesting hobbies whatsoever. This was like hunting a long beard in January or something like that. He wanted nothing to do with spring. He just wanted to live his life in the backyards of New Hampshire. The thing looks like an oversized raven. Yep, here we are folks in Kubota land in the backyards of New Hampshire. Everybody here seems to have a Kubota, a Volvo car, and a Toyota truck for whatever reason. Good hunt, this turkey did absolutely nothing. Exactly what we expected by what we watched last night. But whatever, yesterday it got all the gobbling and strutting and spitting and drumming that you can ask for. It's like today, let's go after one that wants to do nothing. Let's hunt fall long beard pretty much. And we did, and he ended up getting her done. Well, here we are, folks. Torrential downpour. We shot my double in Vermont this morning. I'm done in Vermont. We skipped over the border this evening. We knew the rain was coming. We love scouting birds in the rain. They all come out of the woodwork and come out into the field. We went around and scouted. It's torrential downpour right now. We're in New Hampshire. We're trying to figure that out. I got two tags. It's the night of the 16th. We got some time to hunt. We're gonna try to kill a couple birds here in New Hampshire and we're gonna try to hit the road and go down and hunt Massachusetts before it closes on the 21st of May and we're gonna try to make it all come together the only thing we're hoping is it's not torrential downpour in the morning this rain's supposed to set in though about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning but we do have plenty of birds spotted and way pointed lots of good gobblers some swinger beards out there the turkeys are out doing their thing here in mid-May and we got a couple tags, we're gonna try to make it happen. We'll just see what the weather does in the morning. Well folks, we continued driving even though it got dark and it's torrential downpour. Rain let up here a little bit and we come down this back road that looked good on the map. And there's a lone long beard looking miserable in the rain, but he's speeding along. Probably just gonna sit here and let it play out and see where this gobbler flies up. He's in a pretty good spot. I don't think he's gonna go too far. He looks like he's in slow motion and miserable to the rain. Just come. 
870 today. I doubled yesterday with Nova, but 870 is where it's at, so we're gonna play games with that today. If we can get lucky enough to shoot this turkey, we're gonna get him reported online and head up the road where we saw all those other birds and see if we can get my second bird done. But let's worry about the first one first, folks. Just don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah, don't get ahead of Spook because Spook may make you be disappointed. Now we got permission till 7.30 and then get out, she says. Husband's going to be pissed. She also gave me permission to shoot within 100 yards of her house. So we're probably about 80 yards from her front door. But she acted like husband would say no, but wife wanted to say yes, so she said yes. But acted like she did not know how husband's going to feel about it. So if we shoot here... <laughs> And we hear something coming from behind us. I'm, I already know how that's gonna roll. Get your get out and never come back. Okay, sir, whatever you say. The damage is already done at that point, but wife was gracious enough to say, yes, you boys can hunt till 7.30 in the morning and then please get out. I've hunted on 45 minute permission before, so we can definitely hunt on two and a half hour permission. We can work with that. The only thing we do now is there's a long beard on the limb within 80 yards of us. That's the only for sure. Got him. <sighs> well, we chased Pink. <laughs> and we got Pink. Here's the bird that we roosted last night in the pouring rain. He did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Didn't even fly down for an hour after the hen. A couple <laughs> trees over from him did. And he finally pitched down. And he walked a little bit there and we gave him some calls to get him to stick his head up and he finally stuck his head up. It was right there on the lip of the hill. It was a couple steps and he was out of sight. But boy, he looks a lot nicer. 
than he did last night. All dried up now. Probably inch spurs. New Hampshire bird number one, 2022. Shot a Vermont double yesterday. Shot this New Hampshire bird this morning. Out of the northeast, we're rolling. This bird had absolutely no interesting hobbies whatsoever. This was like hunting a long beard in January or something like that. He wanted nothing to do with spring. He just wanted to live his life in the backyards of New Hampshire. Missing no feather. Nice bird. Nice fat rope. Is that the least amount of hobbies that you've ever seen? That's why I like hunting spook. I like getting rid of those turkeys. He doesn't want to do anything. Nothing interesting. Let's take him out, man. Let's get rid of him. He's hard to hunt. He's a pain in the ass. Let's get rid of him. Yeah, here we are, folks, in Kubota land in the backyards of New Hampshire. Everybody here seems to have a Kubota, a Volvo car, and a Toyota truck for whatever reason. Knocked on this lady's door yesterday in the pouring rain. She's like, I'd like you to be out of here by 7.30. It's about 6 o'clock now. We stuck to her regulations, got it done. We got an hour and a half to spare, so we'll do it up, pack it up. Get the heck out of here way before she wanted us gone and probably come back some other time and she'll let me hunt in her yard again. So good hunt. Turkey did absolutely nothing. Exactly what we expected by what we watched last night. So pack it in. Now we got to report this bird online and then we can get on to the next one and we can finish up in New Hampshire and we can head on to whatever state we choose next. <laughs> Thing looks like an oversized raven. I mean, come on, bro. What's your deal? Don't look like you've gobbled yet this spring. It's May 17th. Come on, man. You're going to miss out. Long story short, if you like the Cartel Carnage, check us out on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, at Cartel Custom Calls. If you'd like to check out our products or possibly purchase something, check us out on the online store or our Facebook shop today. Man, this one's light. I think I could hang it by like the little tuft of my hat or something and walk out with him. Mm. Look at the beautiful mountains in the background. I mean, come on, who cares about gobble and straw? Look at the terrain and the beautiful lay of the land around here. Tag is attached to bird. It's not specific to be attached to leg in this state. Attached to turkey. Legal. It doesn't specifically say attached to leg. Or like Pennsylvania deer tags attached to ear, not antler or hawk. Follow the law, no problem. Look at this little circle blind that's growing right here. Like in 10 years, that would have been the perfect setup if that was that high. Wait. No call, no decoy needed. Oh, fly down. Won't put head up. Bop, 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 bop. Boom. Bang. On to number two, folks. You want to hunt spook or do you want to hunt gob? I mean, I know what I want to do, but I know what the camera needs, too. It's two different things. The camera wants one thing, I want another, but I compromise and I go with camera. I'd rather hunt spook. I'd rather hunt no gobble, no strut, no cluck, no nothing. He interests me. It's a lot harder for people to kill. He tries to make believe that he's not even alive, but, you know, worked out. He worked out. 